Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I will show you how you can create your own medieval buildings in Core. Some of you might already know the Magic Tavern that I published to community content a few months ago. Well, that tavern is already one of the highest rated and most downloaded assets in Core. So I decided to create a whole village scene in the same style and publish it free to use for everybody. And if you want to learn how to build your own custom buildings, just keep watching. If you don't have Core yet, check out my affiliate link in the description below. I hope you enjoy watching and if you haven't done already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. First of all, let's see what buildings we are going to create. So we got a typical barn for horses or whatever animal you want to make live here. A rotating windmill and a bakery to produce bread with the floor we just made in the windmill. And two beautiful homes to fall asleep after eating the bread. Some of you might notice the first home is actually this building right here, stylized to match the overall style of the village. If you want to have a deeper look on how it's been made, you may want to check out this speed build over here. To give you a better understanding on how those buildings come together, I created a little overview of all 3D objects I used that aren't basic shapes and how they looked before I modified them. And I got those two from community content, I think originally from Manticore's Core Haven. So that's basically what kit bashing is all about, finding assets that could fit great into your scene, modify them if needed and if you don't find anything that fits, you just do it yourself. Alright, now let's start creating. We are beginning with the barn to empower the villagers to harvest wet for our mill. I used some cubes to stick up the approximate size and shape of the building and started creating around those cubes. To give the roofs this particular look, I created a custom material with a gradient on it. Alright, so the barn is done, let's start with the windmill. The foundation and the rotators of the windmill are built with basic shapes and the tower with the fantasy castle object. To rotate the mill, I used the script with a rotate continuous function. Let's finally turn the floor into some delicious bread. Like the other buildings, the bakery is just a mix of basic shapes and some objects from the core built-in fantasy tile set.
bring the scene more alive. I used some steam and fire VFX for the oven and some fresh baked bread, as well as some white stained decals to create the floor patches around the room. I got the bread from the Merchlandia props, also community content, but if you want to do it by yourself, you can just resize a sphere and put a basic shapes decal on top. Let me show you another easy way to quickly create more buildings. I downloaded my tavern, picked this part from it and created an entire new building from it in just a few minutes. And that's it, I've put the buildings into a little sample village scene and published it to community content for you guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.